Hello, in this video we are going to cover the if statement. So the if statement allows you to check if a condition is true, then run a certain piece of code. If that particular condition is not met, then the code won't be run. So what we're going to do is we are going to say echo, enter a number, and we're going to just say you know, read num. So I've already covered how to get user inputs. Feel free to check out that video, it's basically just this line. Okay, so to do the if statement, just do if, square brackets, make sure there's a space starting at the end. Now you put your condition. So I'm going to put dollar, <coughs> num, and I'm going to check if it equals a particular number. And I'm going to put, actually, you know what? Instead of checking if it equals a particular number, I'm going to see, see if it's less than a particular number. So what I'm going to say is, dash lt so less than i'll have a video i mean i'll have a link that will cover all the different comparison operators like less than greater than less than or equal to you know equal to not equal to all that stuff i've covered it in previous videos but i'll have a link with this video in case you missed that as well okay so if it's less than 10 we are going to say then and then we're gonna, i'll explain this in a second your number then we'll put the number here num is less than 10 so we to end the if statement we just put f5 so what we've done here is created the if statement so this is just a condition this is to have a semicolon at the end I forgot about that the then says run whatever code in between these two statements if this condition is met so if i save that run this and now if i enter let's say two your number two is less than 10. If I enter, I don't know, 9, still less than 10. If I enter 10, nothing happens because 10 is not less than 10. Therefore, we skipped over it. Okay, that's pretty cool. How about if we wanted to have multiple sort of, if we wanted to, you know, have multiple branches. So it's not less than 10, but maybe greater than 10 or, so, or something along those lines. What we can do is we can put something called elif, l if, and this says, if this statement is not true, then check this statement. That's the only time this statement will ever be checked. And then you put, you know, square brackets, semicolon, in here, exact same system. So I'm gonna say dollar num, and I'll say if it's less than 20. So if it's less than 20, I mean, if it's not less than 10, then it could be between you no know, 10 and well, 19 technically, because 20 is not possible on this particular operator. And then you do just put then again. Am I missing something? Because the automatic indentation did not work. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to assume everything's a okay. And I'm going to say echo your. I'm going to say number less than twenty. So if I run that, and so if I put three, it just says your number is less than three. That other echo is not printed out because like I said if this is true this will never get checked now if I run that again and I'll put let's say 15 number less than 20 and if I put 34 nothing prints out because we don't have anything for that you can have as many of these else ifs so elif is short for else if as you know as you want and as an extra task I want you to do a few more you know the less than 10 less than 20 30 40 all the way to 50 so you should have what 10 in total but what you can also do is before the end of the if statement, if put something called an else, and this says if all of these condition branches are false, then just run this code. So regardless of what these, you know, would have resulted in, just run this code. So we're gonna say echo. And remember, you can put much code between the else in the elif and the if as well. I'm just keeping it simple to one. We can put as much as one. I'm gonna say, number not recognized number not recognized record noise if i save that run it and if i put two you get you know so what we would expect we put let's say 10 we get number less than 20 and finally if i put let's say 21 number not recognized so that is pretty cool so we've covered the if statement the else if branch and again you can have as many of these as you want so basically 
these two and then the actual lines of code that you want the elf there's only ever one because this is just a fallback branch essentially and uh, well okay two other things i want to cover is you can actually check for multiple conditions within one if branch so imagine if i wanted to check in here two different conditions so imagine if i create another variable so let's just say i'll call, create random var and i want to assign this a value of five and imagine if i only want to do this check if the random var equals five so to do multiple checks in one particular branch you do double ampersand and then, you, and then you just put the condition. So the condition is random var uh, dash eq for equals then five. If I save that and I run it, if I put the number three, what am I missing? Apparently I'm missing something. Let's have a look. Ah, yes, so the format is uh, two square brackets and a set of regular brackets as well, parentheses. So if I run that now, put the number three, so if your number three is less than 10. But if I was to change this to anything other than five and show you this, you still let me input it, that's not part of your thing, plus six, and it says number less than 20. And the reason, it, even though it is less than 10, is because the AND says both of the conditions, the left and the right condition, have to result in true. Is 6 less than 10? Yeah, so that's true. But does random var equal 5? No, it equals 2. Okay, that's pretty cool. And for you to say, imagine if you want two different conditions, but you only one of them have to be true but they execute the same you know code which is number less than 20 so imagine if you say so you put these vertical pipes and then the format also needs to be the same with the square brackets and the open bracket here and close it there and I'm going to say dollar random var actually now I'm going to say dollar No, yeah, we'll, we'll do dollar random bar dash eq and then five. So watch what happens if I run this now. I'm going to put a value really large now. So I'm going to run it. And I'm going to clear the screen actually. And if I run that, uh, what's happening? Clear the commands. There we go. If I enter a number, enter 40, number not recognized. So this condition is false because 40 is not less than 20, and random var doesn't equal 5. But if I change this, I'll still put a really large number like 40 in there. It prints a number less than 20, even though, well, we know 40 is in less than 20. So if you want to have you know, two different conditions, that could be true, but only one of them need to be met to run the code branch this is how you do it so this is or and this is and so both of the conditions need to be true for the branch to be run and for or either the left condition needs to result in true or the right condition and then this is run so that is it for the if statements we've covered quite a lot so if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video.